Hey, yo, you know I said I wasn't even going to do no more verbal videos about this dude, Umar Jackson. I said I was going to upload videos, yo. Let them shits rock. And let people come up with their own conclusion about this dude, right? But this dude make it so easy. He make it easy to do videos about him, yo. And then the followers. The followers make it even easier. Because y'all niggas is fucking ridiculous. Y'all are ridiculous. No disrespect. No disrespect. Because like I said, and I have said in the past and I'll say it again. Everybody needs something to believe in. Everybody needs something to believe in, yo. But to me, it is not him. He is not my God. He is not my prophet. Y'all treat this dude like he's God. Y'all treat this dude like he's your prophet. I mean, don't let these sweet words <laughs> put a veil over your eyes to the point y'all don't have common sense and y'all can't see the bullshit he do. Come on, man. Yeah. I don't want to stand. And then you sit like this dude tell me. This dude tell me, right? Like, well, I guarantee you drink alcohol. When you go to the club, you buy bottles. I mean, granted. Okay. Now, this is, the, this is the thing. You're right. When we go to the club and pop bottles, we gain something from popping bottles. Alcohol is inside them fucking bottles we pop. When you sit and push this donate button and donate this motherfucking money, what are you receiving outside of a video that he going to shoot you on Instagram or Facebook three or four weeks down the line? Talking, Don't even give you, per se, a shout out for donating money because every dime that he receives is not enough for him. It's not enough for him. But y'all will sit and keep donating and donating and donating, but... We'll get on my video and say, don't you pop bottles in clubs. You throw away your money. Dude, you throwing away your money, you fucking clown. I mean, at the end of the day, what you doing with your money if you giving it to him? What do you see that you got in return from donating your money besides the school that he do not well, I ain't going to say he don't own it. He don't own it. I don't know. Whatever the fuck that 400000 he put down on it. I guess he down payment on it. I mean, whatever he did, he put a down payment on it, I guess. But whatever. Whatever the case may be. This is where y'all kill me, right? Y'all be so strong and dedicated to, to defend this dude when he done had this school. How many months now? Y'all still don't have no lights he go to Walmart walk around find people to want to be in his little videos pull up at a local gas station cause ain't nobody that he has put in a video thus far look credible true or not true I'm not sitting here bashing this man movement you know what I'm doing I get his dude kudos I want come on man he Instead of instead of us bashing this dude, we need to commend this dude. I mean, he got drug dealers beat, my nigga. Like, at the end of the day, I have never met an individual that do not have to leave their house and generate their money. Well, not even their house because he live in hotel rooms. Well, I've never known a person to generate as much money as he generate day in and day out from a hotel room. Instagram, Facebook live in it. And then what y'all see in return is him sitting up going <laughs> and join. This dude is living his best life off y'all bread while y'all struggling. Not all y'all struggling. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody that donate this dude money is not struggling. But the ones that are struggling, come on, man. If y'all is fighting to keep y'all lights on, how dare y'all? If y'all are fighting to keep food on y'all table, how dare y'all? I mean, what I do with Umar, I respect that man hustle because he got y'all so brainwashed and to the point I'm going to respect this hustle. Don't like him as an individual because I feel he's a coward. I mean, he take black, he take, he take black people. He know where to hit black people where they hurt, where it hurts. And he touched sensitive sides on a lot of situations and he know one thing about black people. We, we, we get 
sensitive on certain topics and and he know how to push buttons and use his words wisely and I mean so I respect the nigga hustle but I don't respect him as an individual because you picked the wrong people to target my dude I mean hey f go to Beverly Hills target them don't target poor black people in the computer in, 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 in the neighborhoods and single moms and all that and who are you I mean, you go from being somebody that everybody respected to a certain degree in that hidden color documentary y'all dudes put together. Because that's why I picked you up at one dumb years ago. Dumb years ago. You talking about three, four years. Nigga, I picked up on you dumb years ago. Years ago, you got your mind, B. And then you run around talking about like you just start collecting this money. And what was crazy, bro, I respected your corny ass back then. I mean, you corny as fuck now is because you, re yo, you disrespect the fuck out of black people, B. Then you damn hit chanting and all that over people, gray sites, yo. And I do want to say this, bro. Leave them dead people alone. Let them dead people rest. I mean, honestly, man, now you, now you, done, now you done took shit to a whole nother level. I mean, you all over these people, grand, and show them. If you want to go show them respect, go show them respect quietly, man. You down on their grave sites, throwing water all up on the grave and chanting and doing all this witchcraft type. Come on, my dude. I mean, this shit is insane to me. And y'all y'all like that. Like, I don't know what people like. I guess, yo, in 2019, anything pops. Anything go in 2019. I mean, I guess you can do anything for shares and likes and, and, and people going to dig it, I guess, yo. I mean, y'all got this dude out. I ain't gonna say y'all. This dude is out in, in, in random people grave sites, throwing water, shouting names, grandma this and auntie that and cousin that and dash. It's an embarrassment, yo. Y'all sit around looking at that shit like this nigga's doing things, yo. It's an embarrassment. I be embarrassed for that dude out there. I be embarrassed for the people that be sitting in this dude money. Why y'all sending this clown money? If y'all feel like y'all want to do something with your money that's creative to the community, go help the boys and girls. I'm pretty sure every everybody got a boys and girls school or a YMCA. Go do something creative there. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's something everybody that want to donate this dude money can do locally. I mean, everybody going to live in Delaware. I mean, so if y'all in Delaware, y'all want to donate y'all money because the school is there. It's going to profit y'all more than it's going to profit anybody else. So, hey, to the ones that's in Delaware, how about y'all donate? But if you live your corny ass way in California, why y'all donating? I'm pretty sure it's enough going on in California and Chicago and, and anywhere. Because the dude followers, they branch everywhere. I'm pretty sure y'all can do a little bit with y'all money more than give it to this dude to go live his best life. Do something locally. I mean, do something positive in your hood, yo. And it's got piff, yo, and I'm out.